Hey everybody, it's October 25th, almost Halloween. And while you and I are enjoying the freedom of being able to walk out in the streets, Lil Wayne has been sentenced to prison for gun possession. For a gun that his manager said wasn't even his. In fact, his manager said it was belonged to him, the manager. Now, Lil Wayne, if you don't know who he is, is perhaps the world's most popular rapper right now. He has an amazing story. Aside from the hard part where, he, for example, he was a virgin at 11 years old, uh, married at, excuse me, father at 14, a millionaire at 17, then married, then divorced. Two years ago, during a performance in New York, New York police ex suspected that he, would ha he had a gun in his large bus. Big entourage there. But they don't know what he looks like, and the way that they found out that he had the gun was questionable. So they walk into his bus and say, well, find the guy that looks like Lil Wayne. That's ridiculous. So they find someone, they search, and they finally find a gun. Ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But what is even more ridiculous is the idea that they're going to sentence him for one year. Now you're saying, wait a minute, let him get away with it? No. If you have a person that can sell 1.5 million records in, I think it was one day, something like that, just miraculous, just flying off the internet, then it stands to reason that instead of just sentencing him to jail, why not a more creative sentence? Why not something like having him talk about the need to stop gun violence? What better messenger than Lil Wayne? What a more creative sentence? And what a better message to send to the world that law enforcement really gets it and understands how to work with society to better society. If on fe in February, Lil Wayne is just sentenced to jail, then the prosecutors and the judge have done a terrible job and really should not be in the positions that they're in.